Okay, you know, popcorn is just like salad. You didn't know that, did you? Oh my goodness, what's going on back here? Okay. <laughs> We're making popcorn. I have some oil heating up in the back, and I think it's ready for the popcorn. Uh, you know, as I said, popcorn is just like salad. And that's because both of them are healthy to start with, but can be really decadent depending on how you cook it or what you add to it. So I heated up some canola, some canola oil back here, and that's what all the racket is. Uh, we're going to make our popcorn from scratch today. And when you do scratch popcorn, as opposed to microwave popcorn, you can pick what kind of oils you can use, and that way you always have a healthier choice in your popcorn. So I did put one kernel in here ahead of time, and then when it pops, you know your oil's ready for the rest of it. So I'm putting one-third of a cup in there. Actually, I think it was a little more than one-third of a cup. And uh, just get it evened out. And then, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I always take the pre-popped one out because I don't want that one to burn and the rest of them to be perfect. And then you want to dry heat. So you don't put the lid on all the way because when you do put the lid on all the way, it creates steam in there. So you just leave it a little bit of jar like that and uh, we'll let it pop. You want to pay pretty close, pretty close attention to it because we don't want to burn, you use a nice medium heat. You know, I read one time in a magazine that, get this, that movie theater popcorn has as much fat as four Big Macs. Can you believe that? I don't know where they got that information from, and maybe it's not even true, but I've heard that. So uh, do you know the American Indians introduced popcorn to the Thanksgiving dinner? That was the first time that the pilgrims had ever seen popcorn. And Americans today are eating 16 billion quarts of popcorn a year. So most people microwave it. But you can't control what's in your microwave popcorn. And when you make your own, you can make better choices. So we, want it, we have our popcorn in, and we're going to pay attention and listen. And um, hopefully we won't burn it. But you know, in Italy, they don't use popcorn at the movies. They eat, they drink wine and eat roasted nuts. <laughs> But one of my favorite taste treats, when I'm watching movies, especially at home, I can't get these in the movie theaters yet, but uh, instead of popcorn, one of my favorite treats is edamame. I'm sure that a lot of you have never even heard of edamame before. Edamame is a top performer when it comes to healthy snacks. Edamame is actually, these are all, both frozen. Uh, we don't have any fresh ones with me, but they're fresh frozen. So this is kind of like having peas frozen peas. So here we have it. And oh, are they yummy. Uh, what I do with, with the uh, shelled ones is just uh, steam them or boil them, and, toss them and, and eat them as a vegetable, you know, like lima beans or, or even as a snack. But when I'm having popcorn at the movies, I like to have the kind that are still in the shell. And that's what this is. You can pick up edamame at your local health food store. So you're going to have to use your imagination here and someday try this. It's not as bad as you might think. You're going to be mighty surprised. These are awesome. So these are the, the pea pods. And there's uh, three uh, soybean peas inside each one. And what I want to do is boil these. I have a pot back here. We'll just add these right in. See what's going on with our popcorn. It's starting to get a little toasted. We'll just leave that alone there and uh, bring our soybeans back to a boil. Now, I'm sure that most of you don't know, mo uh, soybeans probably sound so exotic, you don't even know that 69% of the world's soybean production is done right here trip in the United States. To Layman's Farm in Wrightsville, and Brian was kind enough to show us around his soybean patch. So I'm going to finish. Whoop. Did you hear that? Let's see what's going on. There we have it, our first pop popcorn. So when you come back from the farm, I'm sure that our popcorn and our soybeans are going to be ready. Well, here we are with, uh, this is Brian Lehman, and uh, we're standing on the edge of a huge soybean field. Uh, how many acres of soybeans do you have planted, Brian? We have about 100. 100 acres. A lot of people, a lot of our viewers don't realize that the United States is the number one producer of soybeans in the world. And uh, you said something about Pennsylvania? Yeah, York County is uh, number one in, your, in Pennsylvania, number one county in Pennsylvania. So wow. 
So um, these soybeans were planted at how long ago? These were planted beginning of June. Beginning of June. And they'll be harvested somewhere around October. Uh -huh. So these are about two months old. And uh, I did notice that there are some beans on them. Let's see if we can find one and get it on camera. Where did that go? That's... Now I can't find them. Let's see here. Here's some. You got some there? Little oh, pods. And uh, so when, how big are they when they're, when they're ripe? They get maybe about two inches long, and there's usually three. There's always, almost always three beans in a in a pod. Uh huh. They're fuzzy. Yeah, they're. But when they when we harvest them for the for the cows, we the, the whole field will be brown. It would, everything will be dry. The leaves will fall off. Everything will be dry, and it'll, the combine will come through. And the, the, the peas will fall right at, right out of the pod. So, so you so. use your crop strictly for. Feeding your own livestock. Yeah, it's what ours are produced for. And who, what kind of animals are they? It's for dairy, dairy cows. Dairy cows. We, we take the beans and we, we don't feed them raw. We feed, we get them roasted. We have a, a person comes out and roasts the soybeans. We feed it to them that way. So he takes them to someplace else to roast them? No, he comes on this on site. Oh. He'll come on site. And wow. Roast the soybeans. Um. Hmm. What else should we talk about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So, have you ever eaten these soybeans? I eat them when they're roasted. I don't. I don't eat them raw. I mean, I never tried them green like the way restaurants use them. But I tried them raw before getting roasted when they're when they're already hard. I don't like the flavor, but once you roast them, they, they turn out real good. Real yeah, nice. they are they're actually they're one of the the, the 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 natural plant that has the most dietary fiber of any plant any uh, plant that you can eat, uh, and they are really good for you. High, high protein. Definitely high protein. So here we have our popcorn. And, um, oh, I wanted to show you some. Whoa. We'll just get this out of here so it stops popping. You know, one thing about eating homemade popcorn like this instead of the popcorn in the uh, microwave popcorn is that this has got a lot more fiber in it. And when you're eating it, you don't need to eat near as much, and it's just as satisfying. And you can tell even when you start eating it, it's, a, it's got more fiber in it. There's more to chew here. All right, isn't that nice? A little bit of salt. You could use some, uh, you could use some uh, <laughs> uh, flavoring mixes if you'd like, barbecued seasoning mix, or maybe even some lemon pepper, pretty much anything you want. But try to refrain from drowning it in butter. Now my favorite popcorn right here are steamed edamame and so what I want to do is just toss it with a little bit of sea salt and you could season it with other things if you wanted but this is just it's better than popcorn knacking now these uh just take a quick look here before you leave and the beans are delicious